Okay, so I have this row of houses here, and um, I want to put some volumetrics through here. And the one thing I could do is to add in a cube and put in a volume scatter, which would look like this. And this looks really nice, like this looks very realistic, but it takes so long to render, you can see my sample time is just chugging so slow right now. So something I can do instead is to hide this, I don't want that. I'm going to go to the uh, view layer properties, I'm going to come here and check mist. Then I'm going to go to the world properties. I'm going to come down to the mist pass and I'm going to make the start, we'll say five, and the depth will do 200. Something big enough that it extends beyond your uh, scene area here and comes close to the camera. Okay, in the compositing tab, I have um, the setup here, the, the scene. I am going to do shift A and add in a mix shader here and plug this in and um, the image is going to go into image and now we have this new mist plugin here. I'm going to plug that into the factor and now you'll probably be like that doesn't look very good so and it doesn't. I'm going to add an A color ramp. I'm going to plug this in here. I'm going to just control shift click on this with the node wrangler enabled. You might be able to do this command normally but I'm not sure just so we can view what it's doing and you can see now we have the actual depth of the scene. I'm going to uh, crank this just a little bit more and make this just a bit grayer and make this not perfectly white because what's what's black basically is going to be what has very little of the mist pass applied and what's white is going to be very misted out. Um, all right, I'm going to plug this back in down here. So you, now you can see it's doing something. Um, you can change what color the mist is here and how much of it there is. Let's see, let's even bring this in just a little bit closer like that so we can really see what's happening. Um, this isn't the best way to do big amounts of fog, but it is a great way to get some atmosphere in if you really want to show like how far back things are. Like you can see this is with it on, this is with it's off, on, off, on, off. And it's a good way to just show like, hey, there's some, there's some depth happening in here and this does have some 3D space. 